Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Attack on Trump in middle of Putin presser dragged out by security after getting too close. Talking heads, activists for the so-called resistance, democratic politicians, leftist progressives, and other opponents of President Donald Trump flew into an apoplectic rage first thing Monday morning as President Trump and President Putin sat down for a press briefing. The briefing was held in an effort to answer questions from the media about the joint summit between the U.S. and Russia in Helsinki. The historic meeting between the two world leaders lasted nearly two hours and contained more than a few controversial revelations. Given the mainstream media and their unnatural fascination with all things Russia currently, they have fixated on Putin's admission that he wanted President Trump to win in 2016 election. Some claim this is somehow proof of collusion. Both Trump and Putin emphatically deny that Russia meddled in the election or colluded. The media has also taken issue with President Trump's unwillingness to publicly condemn Russian interference, despite a lengthy ongoing investigation being conducted by special counsel Robert Mueller, turning up little evidence other than typical politics. Meanwhile, President Trump declared the Cold War, and the more recent tensions between the U.S. and Putin's regime, a thing of the past, and Putin clarified his admission he wanted President Trump to win because he talked about bringing U.S.-Russia relations back to normal. Meanwhile, political pundits bashed President Trump for treating Putin amicably during the press conference, with CNN's Anderson Cooper describing the conference as disgraceful. Cooper stated, you have been watching perhaps one of the most disgraceful performances by an American president at a summit in front of a Russian leader certainly than I've ever seen. As for the breakdown in U.S.-Russia relations, President Trump stated there were more than enough issues to go around on both sides. President Trump stated diplomatically, I hold both countries responsible. I think the United States has been foolish. I think we've all been foolish. We're all to blame. Except. Diplomacy seems to escape those on the left as Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff proclaimed President Trump's permissiveness gave Putin the green light to interfere again and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer claims President Trump siding with Putin was dangerous and weak. Some Republicans even appeared uncomfortable with the amicable relations between the two world leaders. House Speaker Paul Ryan stated there is no moral equivalence between U.S. and Russia and that the U.S. must be focused on holding Russia accountable. The drama began before Putin and President Trump arrived at their podiums, as a man purporting to be a journalist had to be forcibly removed from the press conference just prior to its start. The man known as Sam Husseini described himself as a journalist for The Nation, which a hard-left activist magazine based in the United States. According to the Daily Mail, he is also the communications director of the Institute for Public Accuracy, a Washington, D.C.-based nonprofit group that promotes progressive experts as sources for journalists. As the Daily Mail reports Dash, several security agents surrounded Husseini and drug him out of the room before Trump and Putin came inside. The Nation magazine confirmed he was credentialed through their outlet to cover the meeting between Trump and Putin. Sam Husseini, communications director of the Institute for Public Accuracy, received press accreditation from the nation to cover the summit between President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin in Helsinki, said the nation vice president of communications Caitlin Groff in a statement to the DailyMail.com. At a time when this administration consistently denigrates the media, we're troubled by reports that he was forcibly removed from the press conference before the two leaders began to take questions. This is a developing situation that we will be following closely, she said. Los Angeles Times White House correspondent Eli Stokels, who was in the room in Helsinki, tweeted Husseini was circulating a signed statement at the press filing center earlier in day and was escorted out of the press conference at one point but came back into the room. Upon his return, Husseini held a sign that read, Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. He was waving it at the press corps when a security agent tried to take it from him. The two men struggled and tussled over the sign as Husseini refused to give up. Other agents came to assist and four of them removed Husseini from the room. CBS reporter Susan Ormiston, who was also in the room, tweeted Husseini had been heckling reported going live saying they weren't reporting anything. Husseini founded the webpage WashingtonStakeout.com, which features him pointedly questioning political figures as they leave the Sunday morning talk shows. He calls himself a Washington, D.C.-based independent journalist. He has been tweeting from Helsinki and wrote in one tweet, the issue isn't Trump. The issue isn't Putin. The issue is the issues, nuclear threats, Syria, etc. His online resume notes that he regularly attended new conferences at the National Press Club and other venues in D.C., questioning numerous officials including NATO spokesperson Jamie Shea, State Department spokesperson Heather Nauert, 
then Speaker Nancy Pelosi, journalists Stan Rather and Judith Miller and former head of Saudi intelligence Ambrose Turkey bin Faisal al Saud. The questioning of the former lead to a suspension by the executive director of the National Press Club, which was overturned by the Ethics Committee. In 2011, he was suspended by the National Press Club's executive director after he asked the Turkey a point question about the legitimacy of the Saudi regime at an event at the club. The Ethics Committee of the club overturned the suspension. The nation made a tweet shortly after making thinly veiled references to the Trump administration and their often contentious relationship with the media. The tweet stated, At a time when this administration consistently denigrates the media, we're troubled by reports that he was forcibly removed from the press conference before the two leaders began to take questions. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.